an annotated bibliography. So here's an example we have. We can see that we have lots of different kind of fonts. We have some italics here. Uh, our formatting is definitely not all the same for our annotated bib. So the first thing we're gonna do is delete out everything that we don't need. Your sources do not need to have a title. So we're gonna delete out anything that's a title or a heading in some way. So we have just our source information here all these cleared out and the last one here okay next we're going to format one of the citations so we're going to highlight the citation oh there's the bell we're going to highlight the citation and the first thing we're going to do is make sure that it is double spaced okay so we have our line and paragraph spacing is selected to double so we're good to go Next, we're going to fix our indent. So under align and indent, under format, go to indentation options, and we're gonna select a hanging indent. And we want the hanging indent to be 0.5. So this should be zero, zero, hanging 0.5 and we're gonna apply that. And now this is what our citation looks like. This is exactly what our citation should look like. It should be double spaced and then the uh, everything below the first line should be indented. Now we're gonna use our format painter. If you haven't used this before, it's an awesome little tool. It's this little paintbrush that's up here, this rolling paintbrush. When I select that button, I am copying just the formatting. So not the words, but I'm copying the formatting and you can see that my mouse has the little paintbrush next to it. So I can select that citation, the second one, and now that is also formatted correctly. I don't have to go in to select those options again. So I'm gonna apply that to all of my citations. You can see that it also, that last citation there was a different font. It's gonna change the font for you as well. We're working with, I think we got everything in Arial 11 here, but we'll double check that at the end as well. Oh, looks like we're in Calibri 12. So I actually want everything in my document to be Arial font 11. So I'm going to hit Control A. Control A will select all. I'm going to change to Arial. I'm going to change to 11. And now I know everything is in Arial 11 font because everything was selected. Next, we need to format our annotations. So your citation is double-spaced. Your annotation should be single-spaced. So I'm going to select this entire annotation. I'm going to go into my formatting. It's going to be single-spaced. And it is completely aligned to the left, okay? So if I look at my indentation options, none is there. So you don't want to have the hanging indent on your annotation. Your uh, format should look just like this. We have our double, double spaced hanging indent citation and a single spaced no indent annotation. Okay, so this is what that's supposed to be. I'm gonna use that format painter again and I'm gonna apply this to all of my annotations so that they all look the same. And here we have our entire annotated bibliography formatted in just a couple minutes. Once this is all done, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy and paste it so that it is in alphabetical order. Clear off our extra spaces here. So Abigail Adams is A, Smith Julia S, Altieri Susan is another A, LaGuardia Cheryl. An L there and an O. So I'm just gonna copy and paste my entire citations that I need so that they will be in the correct order. But all my formatting is done. And then once this is in the right alphabetical order, we will be good to go. I'm gonna put a title on the top of it and your annotations are complete. Here's our last one coming up to the top. We're going to center. Annotated bibliography. We'll make that 12. We'll make that bold. We'll put an extra space. And there we go. A completely formatted annotated bibliography. If you have any questions, stop by the library. Mrs. Lombardo and I are happy to help you.